All right, guys. So, you know, after um, Jesus had ascended, the book of Acts, ultimately, you know, the, the Lord definitely did increase his word. Okay. So he definitely, he definitely did increase the word and especially after he revealed the mystery of the church, the mystery of Christ and as the hope of glory to the apostle, to Saul, who became, well, to the apostle Paul after his Damascus road experience. And he went from Saul to being called Paul, <laughs> um, that you know, of course, we know that John and Peter and and Luke also, because Luke was Paul's traveling companion, uh, were positively impacted by the Apostle Paul's um, dispensing of the New Testament ministry of reconciliation. So, what happened to these? pillars, if you will, of, of identification truths of these pillars of, especially, you know, after, especially after the apostle Paul was beheaded, you know, like, you know, um, the apostle John, he, uh, he outlived all of them. Right. But they, they were all scattered, right? All of them were scattered as the Lord the Lord, through persecution, used that to increase the word to, uh, just like he did the five loaves of bread and the two fish. And it became bigger than them. Like, and I don't know how often the apostles were able to keep in touch with each other, or, or I, we don't know. But we do know that they followed as the spirit led each of them right to their respective spheres of ministry okay um and the most amazing thing and the most wonderful thing that i'm seeing in youtube is that the lord is increasing his word the lord is increasing this this rediscovery of the new testament ministry of reconciliation among among those of us who are so hungry for him as our food and drink and who are tired in, of legalism, who have been so wounded and beat down, right, by the pharisaical, legalistic, uh, institutional church. The institutional church has unfortunately become the ultimate abuser of the sheep. And... What is so wonderful is that whereas a couple of years ago, there might have been only one or two, one person at this time, two years ago, just one person talking about these truths, you know, another person joined in about several months later. And then after that, more people started sharing and dispensing the same food. And now it's bigger than any one of us. And that is to the praise and honor of God. And we might, like me, I might not be able to make it around to watching every single person that I'm in fellowship with. I might not be able to make it around to watching every single person's video. But, but that's not going to limit God. God's not limited by just, you know, by my, no, uh-uh. <laughs> God's much bigger than that. And he's going to accomplish his purposes and his work. He will see to it that he accomplishes what he intends to accomplish. And I just give him all the praise and the glory for that. That as the Lord continues to give utterance and increase his utterance among us and to increase the word among us. My prayer is that more and more people will be able to, as they feast upon the food, that they will in turn be able to dispense it, how the Lord leads them to dispense the food. And that is my prayer. Definitely. All right, guys, be blessed.